Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Millennium Stage. Tonight's performance is in partnership with New Works Productions and Nolan Williams Jr. and in support of Lost in the Stars from the Washington National Opera, running in the Eisenhower Theater from Friday, February 12th through Saturday, February 20th. Tickets are available now. And now, we present Cry the Beloved Country. such as this, we should perhaps start from the beginning. So let me begin. I am an African. I owe my being to the hills and the valleys, the mountains and the glades, the rivers, the deserts, the trees, the flowers, the seas, and the ever-changing seasons that define the face of our native land. I have frozen in our frost and our latter day snows. My body has, has thawed in the warmth of our sunshine. <laughs> I know none dare challenge me when I say I am an African. Yet I fear today as a country, we keep an audible silence, fearful to admit the horror of a former deed, seeking to obliterate from our minds and our memories a cool occurrence which in its remembering should teach us not and never to be inhuman again.
A Call to Africa. This song was usually sung at mass meetings as a lament about how the African continent was taken over by Europeans. It is a reminder to us all. Sometimes Africans have had no choice but to fight, to push and push and keep pushing, for there is much to be done. So we must push as one and keep pushing and keep pushing and push. human 
dignity. Experience by Africa is the direct result of the policy of white supremacy. White supremacy implies black inferiority. Legislation designed to preserve white supremacy entrenches this notion. I have dedicated my life to this struggle of the African people. I have fought against white domination. And I have fought against black domination. I have cherished the idea of a democratic and free society in which all persons will live together in harmony and with equal opportunity. It is an idea for which I hope to live for and to see realized. But my Lord, if it needs be, it is an idea for which I am prepared to die. Hosea la sala Mandela, Hosea la sala Cumbre, Mandela bakla masoja, Uroba lepsi, Shenge, Usatui, Uroba lepsi, Uroba lepsi, generate a certain level of fear, there will be times you will be forced to generate a survival plan. And in South Africa, surviving is all we know how to do. Apartheid was an ongoing war and youth were always in the crossfire. Made victims of genocide the price of standing up for your rights. Question, if we'd remain silent like they'd wanted, would 13-year-old Hector Peterson still be living and would mothers not have had to bury their children? This is for the days your melanin resembles that of gunfire. Dangerous, cold, days like youth day we will always be forced to remember. I swear I can still hear the echoes of screams in the fields of Soweto. The terror of tear gas, of bullets, of standing for something and dying for it too who knew segregation could be so deadly. That they'll beat the black off you boy, make an example out of you. Spray this whole field of future doctors, lawyers, physicians, businessmen, just to get their point across. See, they will murder you in an effort to teach us a lesson, to show that we will always be inferior to the system. See, as long as we are existing, there will always be a fight worth fighting for.
responded to the Soweto massacre, massacres with this slogan. Mobilize, don't mourn. 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 A widespread uprising revolted and left the apartheid state to a standstill. It was led by the African National Congress, Unkonto We Siswe, the spear of the nation. Today, at least 20,000 demonstrators of all races marched together through the streets of Cape Town. It was a huge display of frustration and resentment, and it was entirely legal, officially sanctioned by the white minority government. ABC's Richard Sergei is in Cape Town. The streets of Cape Town today belong to people who are not allowed to live there. 
They streamed into the city from surrounding black townships to protest alleged police brutality. After a service in St. George's Cathedral, Archbishop Tutu and the white mayor of Cape Town led the crowd to City Hall. The demonstration stretched for more than a mile. They waved banners and sang freedom songs. It is illegal to hold anti-apartheid demonstrations, but acting President de Klerk, facing criticism at home and abroad, allowed this protest on the condition it remained peaceful. Activists kept the crowd under control while police kept out of sight. Today is a victory for common sense. It is a victory for peace. Drive before us like a flame. Yesterday, a night gone thing, a sundown name. And dawn today, broad arch above the road we came. We march from 1956 to 1995. We march from Pretoria to Cape Town. We march from 20,000 women of all races to many thousand people of all faces. Together, we march. to continue fighting. And it is with this spirit that this funeral song was sung for those who sacrificed their lives for the struggle. to the spirit of all our yearnings, freedom in our lifetime. Rest your bones, warrior. Rest in peace, spear. And lo, your fighting will not be in vain. It will not be in vain. Oh, 
and protests, real change could not come until the world stood up against the system of apartheid. As more calls for divestment echo throughout the land, the impact on South Africa's economy grew every single day.
pursuance of my opening address to Parliament, I am now in a position to announce that Mr. Nelson Mandela will be released at the Victor Verstaat prison on Sunday, the 11th of February, at about 3 p.m. Yesterday evening, I met with Mr. Mandela in Cape Town, together with Ministers Fulyun and Kutsier. During the meeting, Mr. Mandela was informed of the government's decision regarding his release. We would all like Mr. Mandela's release to take place in a dignified and orderly manner. The eyes of the world are presently focused on all South Africans. All of us now have an opportunity and the responsibility to prove that we are capable of a peaceful process in creating a new South Africa.
today, all of us do by our presence here, confer glory and hope to newborn liberty. Out of the experience of an extraordinary human disaster that lasted too long must be born a society of which all humanity will be proud. The time for the healing of the wounds is come. The moment to bridge the chasms that divide us has come. The time to build is upon us. We must therefore act together as a united people for national reconciliation, for nation building, for the birth of a new world. Let there be justice for all. Let there be peace for all. Let there be work, bread, water, and salt for all. Let freedom reign. The sun shall never set on so glorious a human achievement. God bless Africa. African. I am an African. And today, it feels good to be an African. Whatever the setbacks of the moment, nothing can stop us now. Whatever the difficulties, Africa shall be at peace. However it sounds to the skeptics, Africa, Africa will, will prosper. prosper. you have enjoyed the program this evening. Help me thank some wonderful people. Please help me thank our narrators, Jasmine Robinson and Marquise Gibson. Our poet, C.C. Fulton, representing Split This Rock. Our dancers, the New Works Freedom Dancers. And Simunye Dance Ensemble. Help us thank our percussionist, Wayne K. Prince. All of our tech team around. And how about these wonderful voices up here? Let me single out a few people. Mrs. Joy King. Mr. Gary Maitland. Mr. Charles Miller all three of whom sang solos. And then we have the combined voices, Vusa, voices from Southern Africa, and the voices of inspiration. And I am so pleased to have had as a partner in this venture, 
the director of VUSA, Mr. Michael Nguyanza. So now listen, you've sat through this evening and we've performed for you. Now we need you to perform with us. Perform with us. There is a piece called um, Sabela Uya Bizwa, which is literally an ancestral call that means call for your name is being answered. And as we learn this piece, we're going to start to call the names of some of our ancestors and to celebrate their spirits, especially those who have been freedom pioneers both in South Africa and here in America. Is that all right? Come on, put those hands together like this. Gee. Now listen, we have a part. Basses go. Sabela uya biswa. Sabela uya biswa. Sabela uya biswa. Sabela uya biswa. Now I need all the basses to stand to your feet in the house tonight. All the basses. Come on, basses. Don't be shy. Come on, basses. I'm gonna come out in the crowd in a second. Oh, there you go. Listen, here's your part. Go. Sabela uya biswa. Sabela uya biswa. Come on, basses, go. Sabela uya biswa. Uh huh. Sabela uya biswa. Come on, where the tenors? Tenors, stand to your feet. Come on, tenors. I see you, Nancy. Ah, uh, we got quite a few tenors. I see you, Lynn. Here's your part, tenors. Two, one, two, three. Listen. Sabela uya biswa. All right, everyone encourage the tenors. That was a good job, huh? Encourage them. Come on, altos. Come on, altos. Stand to your feet. Where are the altos? Come on, altos. All right, here's the alto part. Go. Come on, altos. All right, great job, Altos. Come on. Now, by now, everyone should be on their feet. Where are the Sopranos? Altos, stay up. Tenors, stay up. Basses, stay up. Come on, Sopranos. We have a part for you. I see you, Mom. Come on. All right. All right. Are you all ready to put this together? I said, are you all ready to put this together? Okay, come on, let's make a joyful noise together here in the Kennedy Center celebrating South African history, even as we're supporting the Na National, um, Washington National Opera's production of Lost in the Stars. And we hope all of you will support that production, yes? Yes? Okay, here we go, starting with the basses. One, two, ready, go. Sabela uya bizwa. Just basses. Sabela uya bizwa. Bases, let's go. Okay. Here we go. Tenors, join them. Here we go. Sabela uya biswa. Sabela uya biswa. Come on now. Come on, altos, join them. Ready, go. Sopranos, everyone go. Now we're getting ready to call the names. Come on.
voices, come on. Senor. I hear you, I hear you. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Ready, go. you all very very much thank you all very very one more time for the whole cast listen I want to make sure we're all clear this program has been produced and put together in support of Washington National Opera's Lost in the Stars I want to ask a question how many of you already have your tickets for Lost in the Stars mm, I only see a few hands Lost in the Stars is a wonderful production that is going on right now here in the Kennedy Center in the Eisenhower Theater. And please do yourselves a favor, go and support it. If you've enjoyed this program tonight of South African Freedom Songs, then go the next step and see the production that is based in the time of apartheid of South Africa, starring uh, one of the best bass baritones this side of, of, of heaven. <laughs> um, uh, Mr. Eric Owens and so please support that will you do that will you all do that please will you do that thank you all so much God bless you and good night one two one two three and